Hey everybody, and welcome to another installment of Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. I am Brian, your host. We've got a really neat one this week in the form of the Hasbro Mego collaboration on the Ghostbusters set. This is the second collaboration Mego has done with Hasbro, and it is hopefully not the last, as there's some properties I think everybody wants. This went up for pre-order a little while back, and I was a little slow to jump on the bandwagon. Not because I don't love Mego, I was just kind of on the fence about Ghostbusters. Now, a lot of people love it, and there's an incredible fandom to it, and I like it, especially the first movie. Uh, but I was like 13 when it came out, so I really didn't have that childhood connection to it. However, I'm a giant fan of Bill Murray and Harold Ramis. I'm an SCTV guy, and... That really kind of drove me to pick this up. Also, the other motivating factor for me was they looked really good in the photos. And the price was, you know, really reasonable. I mean, for a collectible like this, the price of it was less than I would pay for four carded Mego figures. So I was down with that and I picked it up and I do not regret it. Now... Hasbro has an interesting packaging design in that they will not allow uh, anyone to use plastic in their packaging. You know, it's a, it's a green initiative. And what they've created is something very, very collector friendly. And I'll kind of go through this. What we're looking at right now is the cardboard sleeve. Now, I took this off previously and I was just afraid to put it back on. So the set itself looks like this. Something uh, was pointed out about the box art that it is meant to look a little bit like the VHS of Ghostbusters. Now, I, I haven't seen a VHS of Ghostbusters in some time, but I do kind of remember the detail. And that's a nice little callback. You've got all four figures, and uh, they are in a beautiful little display that, of course, is uh, you know representative of the first movie. And around the back, you've got some great photos mixing the the film photos, apparently from the VHS, with photos of the figures, and of course, a little bit of Mego history. Uh, all in all, it's a solid looking little set. And taking these guys out of the package, you can kind of see that they're tied in with string as opposed to the twist ties from hell I'm used to dealing with. And it was really kind of a joy just taking these off the card. So what I would like to do now is take them off the card, do a silly little montage, and then let's talk about Migos Ghostbusters, shall we? What I would like to do now is take them off the card, do a silly little montage, and then let's talk about Migos Ghostbusters, shall we?
So, this is Migos Ghostbusters series. Uh, my, my first thing I want to mention, and this is just one of those little things that bother me on some toys, is somehow Migo managed to get little tiny uh, zipper tags. You know, a lot of the times when you have a zipper, it's an, a full-sized zipper from a pair of jeans, and it just kind of blows the illusion, and I understand that, but this kind of works for me. The other thing I didn't even realize, because I don't pay attention sometimes, is that there were a lot of accessories with this set. Not only do we get the um, Ghostbusters weapons, and forgive me, I've forgotten what they're called, but you get the traps, and then you get two little extras that I was really thrilled about. They were in a little white box in the packaging, and that was uh, Egon's uh, sensor or detector, that thing that's also in They Live. And you get the spectacles that uh, Ray wears, you know, the kind of goggles. And it's a nice little touch, and it really personifies the figures. The other little detail that I like is Bill Murray doesn't have his pants, you know, his boot pants tucked into his boots. And that's something from the movie and that I had completely forgotten about. You know, he's just got to set himself apart from the other dorks. Uh, other than that, you know, I think these are really solid head sculpts. When I first got these in, my son was really interested in them, and he said a sentence to me I never thought I'd hear in the form of, that's a really solid Ernie Hudson figure, Dad. And he's right. Now, there has been some quibbles from folks about the fact that these guys uh, have kind of a sheen to their head. And, um, you know, it doesn't really bother me because toys are toys. But if you have an issue with the sheen, uh, a couple of guys have come up with things like putting Mod Podge on the heads to kind of take down the shine. And that, that seems to work really well. And it's a nice fix if that's one of the quibbles you have. All of these figures appear to be on the new bandless body that has come before. As always, I found it a little stiff, but as long as you're gentle with them, it seems to be okay. I like how they hold a pose and, uh, you know, it's starting to really win me over, especially with this stuff. The backpacks were fairly simple to put on. I didn't have a major issue with them. Uh, and that's something to be said, because I have been known to break stuff while I take it out of the package. And I like the way the guns kind of hang at the back, or you can choose to have the characters hold them. That's a nice little feature. All in all, I would say there's a really nice attention to detail in all of this. So all in all, I, I, I'm very satisfied with this set. I, I think it looks great. And that, that's actually something that motivated me to purchase it, was seeing some of my friends fooling around with their sets. And I was thinking, why didn't I grab that immediately? It, it looks great. So I think it's still available on Hasbro Pulse, uh, but I don't know for how long. So, you know, check it out there. Uh, what do you think of the Mego and Hasbro arrangement? What would the next Hasbro Mego project be for you if you were in charge? Let me know in the comments below, or you can hit me up at Migomania, our Facebook group, or at the forums at MigoMuseum.com. We still have a forum. It is still very active. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you will consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this every week. If you aren't new to this, uh, please share this if you can. It would really help out the channel. Uh, until next time, uh, be well and buy what you like. Cheers. And hey, if you like this channel and what I do, please consider checking out my store. We have eight issues of a magazine called Toy Ventures out there. It's an old school print toy collector magazine like we used to have. Thanks.